<clears throat> Hello to all the citizens of Cranston and beyond. My name is Dick Tomlins, also known as Citizen Tomlins. I'm standing here today in front of the Cranston West High School to give you an honest and reasoned message regarding the prayer plaque located inside this school that has caused such an uproar in Cranston and beyond. First, some history. This plaque was the result of a class assignment by a 13-year-old seventh grade student as an art project and placed on a school wall in 1962. This plaque has now caught the ire of a 16-year-old student at this school, a self-avowed atheist, and her cohorts at the ACLU, which attacks American traditions, standards, and liberties at every opportunity. This prayer mural has survived 10 U.S. administrations, several wars, and even the attack on 9-11. But sadly enough, this plan may not survive the onslaught by the rapidly anti-religious, anti-American ACLU. Therefore, it is necessary that all of you come to support the Cranston School Committee on February 16th at Cranston East Auditorium at 6.30 p.m. in voting to appeal the lower court's decision to take it down forever. This piece of artwork must not be put into the dustpan of history. This invitation is intended for all teachers, administrators, family, and students as well as veterans, their families, and friends. This is a call to arms to make sure that all of the lives that have been lost in defense of freedom and liberty for this land of the brave and free may not be in vain. This land we call America must not be lost to atheists in the ACLU, a team that since their very existence has wanted to shatter our republic and make it into a social state. From the very beginning of the ACLU, it has been dominated by communists and communist sympathizers. And unfortunately, far too many of our leaders, leaders who swore to uphold the Constitution and our Bill of Rights. Like the ACLU, many of our politicians and judges, including the Supreme Court, want to mandate many parts of our life. The most recent, trying to tear down the very foundation of the Catholic and other religious faiths by forcing them to perform procedures against their beliefs. This cannot stand. Why do I stand here today, you might ask? That's a fair question. I have come from a family that has always been patriotic and done their job. Today, my wife Marie stands here with me, who has supported me for over 65 years. All of our children have done well, but they're all giving back to the community. Marie's brother fought World War II in Korea and in Vietnam. Marie had three of her uncles who fought World War I as pilots and later attended Georgetown Law School. I've had uncles and many other people in my family who have served, including myself, and they all gave back to the community. I was a Depression and World War II child. I was brought up to offer a hand up and not a hand out. My father spent seven months in a hospital as a wounded warden. My older brother and sister left school to work to help the family. My mother took a job in a factory cleaning offices that night. Our pastor made a visit every week with an offering and others helped. Through it all, we were taught that with faith and using our lives for good, we would be okay, and it proved out. Like so many of you, we just lived as hard-working, devoted families with faith in our future, as God-loving citizens, to provide for ourselves and families. The ACO will tell you that, quote, freedom can't protect itself. They should tell that to all those who have fought for our right of free speech, our honor, and our way of life. Please join me in telling the world that no one or any group or organization will ever push us into socialism, that we will protect our way of life. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you, and God bless America.